So my book is about Roger Ailes and Fox News and the transformation of the American news media. Um, and it's a project that I spent the last couple of years uh, researching and reporting. Uh, the book will be published in 2013. And it's a book that really looks at how the culture has changed and how the whole concept of, of news has changed uh, over the last um, 15 years that uh, Fox News has been in existence. And the frame for the book is looking at uh, how Roger Ailes has changed the culture going back to his early days uh, working for Richard Nixon during the 1968 presidential campaign. The, the book touches on the themes of the merging of politics and entertainment and news into a form of communication that connects with the viewer on a partisan basis. And the, the fracturing and the polarization of the American news media is, I think, one of the great stories of our time. And, and Roger Ailes is a fascinating character and a vehicle to, to talk about that change because he's been present at, at the creation, you know, going back to the 1968 uh, presidential campaign working for Richard Nixon, he was part of a team that used television to transform the way the public connected with a candidate and he leapfrogged, he leapfrogged the American news media because the press had been so hostile to Richard Nixon going back to his days as vice president and his failed uh, 1962 run for governor. And so the idea was to use television to jump over the heads of the national news media and the commentators to connect directly to the viewer and that, that has been uh, a sort of seismic change in the way politicians have now used television through ads and, and controlled television to connect with their, with their supporters. I think Fox News is a one-of-a-kind phenomenon in that he is a, a, a unique genius and a talent that has programmed and used television to connect with, with viewers on a level that far outpaces any other television executive of his generation. Now that said, I think Fox News has been at the forefront of a change that has happened over the last you know, generation in that Americans have gravitated increasingly towards partisan news outlets. And so he is obviously the most effective and successful of, of that uh, of those executives, but MSNBC and others have tried to counter program uh, to what Fox has done to carve out an audience. And I think the, the days of being all things to all people is gone forever and people and Americans will continue to gravitate towards sources that confirm their, their worldview. And, and he has been, you know, more than anyone uh, at the forefront of that shift. So I think the, you know, what's fascinating is that the media culture and the political culture sort of uh, feed off each other and it's hard at times to figure out which one is the dominant force in driving the bus. But I think if you look at how Fox is uh, counter program to the Obama White House during the last four years, you know, they helped uh, foster this Tea Party uh, movement that was uh, both a television, great for television ratings and really helped uh, sweep a lot of Republicans into Congress during the midterms. But, but by consequence, it sort of helped foster these candidates that were not electable in a general election for the, you know, the presidential campaign in 2012. And so I think what, what's fascinating is you now have uh, media driving politics in a way that is great for business and ratings, but necessarily may be harmful to the long-term health of uh, the respective political parties. And I think, you know, maybe we would, we'll see it on the left with MSNBC and other outlets encouraging a more populist uh, form of politics that may be harmful to the Democrats as well. So I think, you know, the, the desire to chase ratings and viewers through partisan media, while great for short-term politics and business, may be harmful to the long-term idea of building stable political coalitions.